call the local medical facility the human wrecking machine has arrived. Nobody in the ring is safe. The following contest is a fatal four-way match and is for the SmackDown Television Championship. Introducing the challenger from parts unknown, weighing in at 305 pounds, the human wrecking machine, Zeus. Six foot five, over 300 pounds. Even in a building this big, Zeus is still huge. A one-man car crash. He has crushed many of the biggest competitors in WWE history. The being obsessed with continued domination, terrorizing humanity, that is Zeus to a T. This wrecking machine is here with only one mission, eliminate. When it comes to facing Zeus, he considers no holds barred. And introducing the challenger from Blackpool, England, weighing in at 220 pounds, Cajun Dodd. It's a big time opportunity, Byron, as the title will be on the line here. You're right, Michael. And judging from the response on social media heading into this match, we're likely to see a new champ crowned here tonight. <laughs> the challenger looking determined. He will need the performance of a lifetime to become champion. Gentlemen, it's time to keep your eyes on the skies. And introducing the challenger from Dayton, Ohio, weighing in at 183 pounds, Wes Lee. Served in the United States Air Force. Oh, Wes Lee is definitely right at home when taking to the skies. Wesley has acquired his target here tonight. Guys, this is going to be fun to watch. X marks the spot for Wesley. Take a good look at the new face of WWE. It's the lock. And introducing the champion from New York, weighing in at 246 pounds, he is the SmackDown Television Champion, Danny Dynamite. Yeah. Of course, the title is on the line in this one, guys. And don't be surprised if history is made here tonight. I know the champ has looked good as of late, but I'd say the opposition has looked just as good, if not better. The WWE Universe more than ready for this title defense, and the champion is prepared, too. Anytime this title is defended, it's a big fight field. Wow. 
Watching this no DQ match, I can't help but think of all the great no disqualification matches we've seen in WWE over the years. No doubt, Michael. Triple H versus Brock Lesnar in 2013. The Rock versus Mankind in 1999. Both classics. The all-time best has got to be Undertaker versus Shawn Michaels at WrestleMania 26. Yeah, I hate to disagree with you, Corey, but Stone Cold Steve Austin against The Rock at WrestleMania 17 was the greatest no disqualification match of all time. In fact, it might even be the greatest match in WWE history. For the title. Some say the only limit in a no DQ is your own imagination. Right, so Saxton wouldn't stand a chance. For everyone else, though, the sky is the limit. Anything you wish you could do to get a win, you could probably arrange it here. So my advice is to hold nothing back. Stomping. Ouch. Sidekick finds the mark. Got an involuntary adjustment. The challenger's looking shaken. A steel chair? Something we all know could be a devastating weapon.
picks up the pin. Has the opposition in the palm of his hand, and he knows it. And that was an efficient form of offense for that move. Placing them right where they want them, into the corner. Tiger King kick around the post. He'll head to the ring. Champion, win!